Hello and welcome to part one of this tutorial on how to create a full stack MERN app using MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. For this tutorial, it's best if you know some basic JavaScript and React, but you'll still learn something even if you don't. I'm on Windows right now, but if you're on a Mac, it shouldn't be hard to follow along. So this is the site we will be building. It's a portfolio website for photography, so we have a gallery page displaying our images, a blog, and a contact page. We're going to be using NodeMailer to send us an email when the contact form is submitted. We have a not found page, which will display in case someone goes to a non-existent URL. And that's about it. We're going to be using Git throughout this project to keep a backup of our work. And I prefer to use the Git bash terminal in Visual Studio. To install Git and Git bash, head over to git-scm.com and download the installer. Now create a blank project inside your code editor and open up a terminal pointing to that directory. I have a bash terminal opened up in Visual Studio Code. Create a folder named frontend and then change directories over to the frontend in your terminal. This is where we'll use create react app to generate the basic frontend setup of our app. Inside your terminal in the frontend run npx create react app period. The period at the end indicates we're creating it inside this folder. Now to install our front end dependencies, we need to install Axios to handle requests to our back end server, React Markdown to convert Markdown into our blog articles, React Redux, Redux, Redux DevTools extension. and Redux Thunk are all needed to implement app level Redux state management. React Router DOM is so that we can have different routes. And finally, we need the styled components package. Once those are installed, we need to create a backend folder Now change directories back to your main project location and run npm init. You can fill out the information for your project, but I'm going to skip each one for now because you can always edit it later. You can see it should create a package.json file. Now we can add our backend dependencies. We need concurrently to run the frontend and backend at the same time. NodeMon to automatically restart the server when we save any changes. NodeMailer. Multer, which will allow us to upload images to our Mongo database. Mongoose to work with MongoDB. JSON Web Token to create a token based login system. Express to create our server. Express Async Handler to help manage asynchronous promises. .env to store environment variables that shouldn't be available in source code. And lastly, we need bcrypt to encrypt user passwords. This is the point where I suggest that you have git bash installed and start using it as your terminal. If you're using another terminal, such as the Windows PowerShell, you might not have access to the commands I'm using. We need to remove the git files that are made with create react app and create our own git setup. In the main directory, run the command rm-rf.git. 
Where I run this command, it will go into every subdirectory and remove all files with the .git extension. Once that's done, run git init. Right now git is telling us there's too many changes because of our node modules folder. We'll add this to a git ignore file, which Visual Studio is about to create. Now go into the front end folder and delete the other git ignore. Inside our .git ignore file, add a reference to the front end slash node modules folder. Lastly, add .env. Now we'll clean up the project. Inside of our front end, in the source folder, delete app.css, app.test.js, logo.svg, report web vitals, and setup tests. Inside of index.css, delete everything except for the body margin of zero. Inside of app.js, Delete everything inside of the return and leave an empty div. Delete the two imports. Now go to index.js and remove the report web vitals import, the react strict mode component, and the comments at the bottom. Inside of source, create an assets folder. I have all the images used for this project stored at a Google Drive link, which is in the description. You can download these or go get your own. I got all these images royalty free from pixels.com. Now inside of source, create a screens folder. And inside of screens, create a home screen folder. In home screen, create an index.js file and a home screen.module.css file. Inside of index, we'll create a React functional component and name the export home screen. Right here, I'm using a React snippet extension to save some time. Now add one more folder inside screens login screen and create an index and login screen.module.css file. Inside of index, create a functional component and name the export login screen. Now inside of the home screen index.js file, Give the div a class name of classes.screen underscore container. Now we need to import classes from home screen .module .css. Import the trail and skyline images from our assets. Inside our screen container, create another div and give it a class name of classes.slide. In our slide, create another div with a class name of gray square. Create an H1 which displays any name. I'll be using John Doe and give it a class name of classes.title. Duplicate this line down by holding the Alt and Shift keys, then pressing the down arrow. I'll use that shortcut a few times through this project. 
switch the content to whatever you want. Just outside the gray square, we'll create an image with a class name of classes.slide underscore image and a source of trail, which we imported earlier from our assets. Give it an alt of trail. We're at the end of this video. Next time, we'll start working on the back end and get our server up and running. Thanks for watching. See you next time.